On February 4th, 2019, in West Hollywood, California, Dumpling Monster opened its doors. Today, I'm eating every kind of dumpling, and today, Eat the Menu is sponsored by Grubhub. That's awesome. I'm not gonna tell you the history about Dumpling Monster because we actually have the owner, Perry. Let's cut to that Dumpling Monster right now. Hi everybody, I'm Chef Perry of Dumpling Monster in West Hollywood, California. Dumplings is such a popular item. Everyone loves dumplings. It's so easy to eat. It's a great share item. And it's just something that I grew up with and we all kind of grew up with in our lives. I love dumplings. You love dumplings. Let's unwrap these little gifts of delight with our tongues. Wow, looks delicious, I can't wait to eat, but we gotta order these dumplings so I gotta open up Grubhub. They have such a great variety. They have hundreds of thousands of restaurants in different neighborhoods across the US. I mean, come on now. You can save money and get free food with Grubhub perks. Plus there's millions of dollars in deals from your favorite restaurants. Pork soup dumpling with crab. Add to bag. Chicken soup dumpling. Ooh, y'all yeah, never had that. Add to bag. When you're eating like this, you just get closer to your friends and family, deeper connected to your local restaurants, a sense of community surrounds you as you're ordering from all your local favorites right from the comfort of your own home and with contactless delivery. I mean, come on. Hot stuff from Grubhub. Grubhub, <laughs> Grubhub, All right, let's eat the menu. Starting with the small plates and buns. The scallion pancake. Oh, they're so good. Oh yeah. It's basically like fried dough, with a little bit of onion-ness. Oh, it's so good. They're layered, they're flaky, they're tasty, they're yummy. Yum. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Look at all this chicken. America started doing popcorn chicken in the 90s. Other countries are doing it way before, and I have to say, every time I have popcorn chicken at an Asian place, it's just so much better. Like the seasonings are so flavorful, salty, delicious. Wow, it like, Zing. Zing is the word I want to say. It's very zingy. But oh, man, it's fatty and delicious. Mmm. Indulge once in a while, would not you? All right, let's move into some pork buns. They're kind of like dumplings. They look like dumplings, but they're just barely not dumplings. Come here. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm going to take a bite without any dipping sauce, and I'm going to dip it. It's very similar flavor with a little more chew. So if you're into bread, this is the way to go. You can hear the grease on my throat already, can't you, audience? I can. I'm gonna put a little spice on this bad boy. It tastes like the smell of the Chinese buffet. But how does the vegan one compare to the piggy one? Very cute. Sort of like puffs in and puffs right back out. You see it? Yep. <laughs> you see that? Whoa! I did not know what to expect in there. I don't know what kind of meat this is, but it has sort of a bitter green in it, like kind of like a bok choy, but not exactly like a bok choy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Calling all dumpling monsters. It's time for the next section. Veggies and milk teas. Don't be such a milk tease. That's when somebody's offering you milk and then they take it back. Don't be a milk tease. All right, we got some green beans. We got some broccoli. Obviously, both of these are vegan. I guess that's not obvious. Like some cultures like cook the green beans with bacon, you know? Not here though. I love green beans. Green beans are so good. And you should never buy canned green beans. You can just buy them from the store. Yeah, that shit was never in a can. This is a tofu bite. Look at that. It almost looks like a mushroom. Like a perfectly parallel parallelogram mushroom. But it's tofu. Sometimes tofu is like dry and bleb. That's really moist and yum. Now broccoli is not my favorite vegetable, generally. Let's get a little mushroom guy out. Look at him! Look at him! Yeah! Glad I'm having this now because later I don't know if I'd have mushroom left. At first I thought they were just your standard fare, but there is actually something like lightly sweet going on. Maybe a little vinegar? Let's go for a dunk. I love the bristly part of broccoli. It absorbs so much flavor. The stems can go to hell, but the treetops can go to my heart. Mmm, holy cow, yeah, that's good. Mmm, the Hong Kong milk tea. <laughs> it sounds like a little propeller was taken off inside my nose. Ooh. Huh. I'm having a hard time describing the flavor. Also, my mouth still tastes like broccoli, so it's a very weird experience. This is really just sort of creamy, bitter black tea. Kind of nice. Refreshing. 
sophisticated. I know everyone's like, Keith, where are the dumplings we're getting there? But first we gotta whet our appetite with dumplings, skinny little cousins, lanky little lizards, noodles, and rice. Joining me on the Eat the Menu table stage is Second Try's very own Nick Repka! Hey! Hey, Keith! Nick uh, produces this show, as well as many other projects at Second Try, and he is a food reviewer. You reviewed food, you reviewed food, food all the time. You reviewed food all the time. What's your favorite food? My go-to is usually like really good sushi. Really good sushi is also excellent. And something you can get on Grubhub! <laughs> Here is one of my best tips, something I actually do, is when you're coming home from a long day of travel, whether it's a road trip or you're flying, either way, place an order for a certain time to be delivered to your house that's right after you're supposed to get home. That way, I mean, give yourself 30 minutes, right? But you'll get home, you'll unpack, you'll be tired from the trip, and then food shows up. And you're like, wow, past Keith, you're such a saint. The rice. The rice. Yep, it's good, but. You know, it's rice. All right, we, we tried it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> the crab fried rice. I do love a good fried rice. And I, I've only recently had crab fried rice like in my life, and it's quite good. You don't think of crab as being like your rice protein. Hold on one second. Someone's phone? Is that me? Oh, maybe it's one of my extra phones. You got burners? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> let's try the crab fried rice. Mmm. Oh yeah, I love the uh, onions in this. Mm-hmm. And then the general vegetables of this is just a good solid fried rice. Yeah. Caramel chicken. Now this looks a lot more like something maybe you'd get at an American Chinese food restaurant. It mm. smells fucking bonkers. Because it has this like very flavorful saltiness that's coming coming off the top. Is that a chili? Or, yeah, this is a pepper. Oh yeah, be careful there. Holy shit, there's just a pepper in the middle of here. I almost put that straight in my mouth. That would have made this a very interesting it video. <laughs> Mm-hmm. A little wow. nice and tender. Mm-hmm. I imagine someone would eat this and say, this tastes like how my mom made it. It's also, I feel like, noted on the menu as spicy. It's not really that spicy, but it's just got, well, unless you make that Let's mistake. Find <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> no. Not spicy at all. In fact, huh. it definitely had a good pepper flavor, but mixed with everything else, it was just really mild and very good. We're gonna work our way down no. this pile. This is chili tofu, which I thought it was gonna look like mapo tofu. Uh, it doesn't, it looks like something different. Oh, the flavor is very mild. Yeah. I don't think it's hot at all. I'm not getting the spice. Mm -mm. It's a good vegetarian option, I think. Sadly, I do want to add meat to this. I know, I really <laughs> was like, maybe the chicken though could go in that as well. Right. Okay, I've been eyeing this the whole time, and I should save it for last, but I just can't wait. This wow. is the soy braised pork. The soy braised pork rice is another one of our popular dishes. It's just super comforting food. It gets served with a tea egg and some mustard greens. We infuse tea within the soy sauce, so it kind of takes on uh, some of the tea, some of the color. It smells incredible. This smells like like a, a street market. Like you walk into a bustling street market in another country and this flavor hits you and you're like, where is that one coming from? Holy cow, mm. that's unbelievable. Mm. Yeah. I also respect the dumpling place where their other dishes are really good. Yeah. <laughs> I am having a much better time on this eat the menu than the last one I was a part of. The one where you were in the back of a truck? Yeah, that with one. With me? Uh-huh, in the For valley? Like six hours? Yeah. It was tough. <laughs> <laughs> and that earned us this meal today. All right, let's move into the last dish here. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, boys. <laughs> in a nice noodle pool there. <laughs> it's, it's like, how there long is this noodle? Jesus, this is half of the noodle? <laughs> there was more? <laughs> but let's try it. Very slippery. Slippery mm -hmm. noodles. I always think that sesame noodles need a little chili. Much better with this. <sighs> I might have put a little too much on myself, <laughs> Sam. <sighs> Hot. <laughs> Hot in my mouth. Here's my extra tip on Grubhub. When you're ordering food, order your entree, your friend's entree, your friend's entree, however many people you're ordering for, and then order one more. Just order an mm. extra entree. Uh, when I do like Mexican food, I just get some backup tacos. That's a pro tip. All right, well thanks, right. thanks for joining us. Thank you are gonna go me. stand over there now for the rest of the day <laughs> while we keep on trying. But let's have some dumplings. It's heckin' time, y'all. During the break, I spilled some vinegar on the table, so I'm trying to clean it up. I think I'm becoming a monster. Oh, it smells spicy. <laughs> I really dunked this in we're not thinking about it because normally it's, a, it's served with like a sweet, like a ponzu, the chicken gyoza. Mm -hmm. Woo! Mm -hmm. 
I, mm-hmm, I looked in it. It was like, this is like two sauces put together in here. One's bright orange. <laughs> Hey, here we go! Woo! They're pretty good though. <laughs> they are pretty good. Pork is much sexier for some reason. Look at the bubbles. Looks like a crab rangoon. But it's pork. I, they really pack in the meat here. Sometimes you get a gyoza and it's got this tiny little marble of pork. Fuck that. I want a whole mouthful. These look beautiful. Look how golden they are, my God. Oink, oink. All right, now it's finally time for the surf and turf, but not the normal surf and turf. This is shrimp and pork, which technically is surf and turf. You know, shrimps are bugs. Mmm, I don't know, it's really good. I feel like there's a whole chunk of shrimp in there. It just it just jumped down my throat though, like a little silly sea bug. It's just like it is. Little silly sea bugs. A little sad down your throat. Little silly sea bugs. Ooh, mmm, pan fried dumplings. Yum, yum, stuff them in my mouth. Now I know what you're thinking, Keith. Are those all the dumplings? You leave me wanton more. Well, don't worry, we got wontons. We got more! Chili boy! Let's start with the vegan wontons. Now I have learned... Oh, I just ripped that the f apart. God, I'm so strong. How exciting, and look at these. They look like little meatballs flying through the air. Don't they look kind of like asteroids? Meow! I'm holding them with my hands, which I realize is poor etiquette, but it's too late. Hmm. Again, I think if I were vegan, I would be like, hell yeah, I get to be part of the club. But as somebody who really wants to eat pork wontons, I'm not as interested in these as I'm gonna be in these. So let's open this box. This one also, they look like little asteroids. They're all like <laughs> Anyway, the pork wontons. Mmm, mmm. Oh, hell yeah, that's good. It reminds me of the um, the same flavor you get in the spicy shrimp wontons. This time it's pork, which I'm really into, are so fucking good. They're so good. People sleep on them all the time. Wake the fuck up and eat some dumplings. Mm -hmm. I don't think they look the best sitting in their little box, but they taste great sitting in my little mouth. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. We got some more dumplings, so let's buckle up and bite on in to the salty, salty bath of pork. I'm becoming more of a monster with each bite. Listen to my voice. It's soaked in fat. All right, we're getting to the dumpling video, and I'm getting a little tired, but you know who's gonna wake me up? My bestie, let it, let it ring, let it rain love for my boy, Corn Diddy! Yeah! yeah. Oh, oh, he loves, you gotta bring your chair. Bring your own right chair there. situation. Yeah, Guys, wrap me in dough and cook my insides. I am stoked. I love dumplings. I am hyped. Fish dumplings. They're made with fish. I don't know that I've ever had a fish dumpling. I've only had a fish dumpling once in my life. You know, they look really ravioli-esque. Gorgeous. They almost look like a fish. Like it could just swim away. Yeah, it does kind of look like a scallop that got stretched. For me, the test of a dumpling, you have to just eat it plain before you put any sauce on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's Whoa. great. That's delicious. It, this is a wonton soup in a bite. Wow, yum, this yum, is yum, yum, really yum. good. Good. I'm going for number two, yeah, baby. Yeah, have another. I can't do two of any one of them anymore. But How many have you eaten so far? Uh, I kind of, I kind of had lots of bites. Hello? No, 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 no. Don't acknowledge it. Wait, what's going on? Is, is someone out to get you? Don't acknowledge it. Okay. I'm a you... dumpling monster. And there's monster hunters afoot. This is pork and corn, which is hilarious <laughs> oh, to me as that's well. That's kind of like if we were a cartoon crime fighting duo. Wow. <laughs> pork and corn. Why, why corn in a dump? Whoa, what was that? I was being a little pig. <laughs> oh. Corn in a dumpling. I don't want that. I don't want, I don't I want don't it. I don't think I want that. I don't. But they, you know, I was suspicious about the fish. Suspicious. So suspicious. Suspicious. Fish. suspicious. Hey, little spider. Hey. Do you like dumplings? Hello. Do you want to eat a dumpling? I'm not afraid of him because his mouth's too little to hurt me. For right. now. Let's, I'm going to try this uh, p pork and corn. <laughs> You taste the corn. It adds some sweetness. It's not bad. It's not bad. I don't think the corn's doing much for me. No, it just adds some sweetness. This isn't what I want. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> Becky would love this though. Yeah. Becky loves corn. She little corn girl. Mm-hmm. This is shumai. They look like shumais. <laughs> just became PewDiePie for a second. Shumai. I typically don't love shumai. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't like shumai. I just, there's something about the, the mint shrimp. But let's still try. I will. The shumai. My oh my. It. Slippery little fish. Shumai. Mmm. 
Can we show that shrimp? There is something else in there. Oh, it's chicken and shrimp. Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think they must actually combine the meats together pre-steaming. Are you becoming a little dumpling monster too? <laughs> I wish, oh my gosh. I don't have a lot of steamed chicken dumplings. These look good. Come here, come here, come here. Nice pale color. These are steamed, so there's no oil, which means they're healthier. Boo. <laughs> but they're still filled mine. with ground meat. Mm -hmm. It's like chicken. I mean, it's tough. It's like, is it good? Uh huh. Why? Well, yeah, it's it good. like a dumpling. It's a dumpling. Mm hmm. Ooh. Good thing. I, it's too hot. I put too much hot on that. <laughs> I am someone who I don't eat a lot of red meat or even pork, but to me, if you're going out to get dumplings, you're not going for chicken dumplings. That's not the reason you're there. However, you could still party. Yeah. These are still totally acceptable. Like, these are not a disgrace to dumplings. These are actually pretty damn good. Also, dumplings, they kind of look like ears. See, it's got a little, little lobe right there. Hello. Hello. I'm ready to eat you. Hello. I'm going to put you in my mouth. Hello. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm hmm. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, you yeah, want. Yeah. I love that pork. I might try the fish again. I don't know which one I like more. Mm -hmm. And I like being able to jump between the two of them. A little bit over here. <laughs> Literally. Little on the ocean, little on the land. Well, Zach, it's great to see you again. Thanks for dropping by. There's plenty of dumplings. Stick around, you'll get some spillover. This is actually a good eat the menu for leftovers because I don't touch all the food. I'm going to go gorge myself. All right, bye, Zach. Let's move on to the soup dumplings. Well, we've made it to the final section of the menu. What we've all been waiting for, the Xiao Long Bao. The Xiao Long Bao. So soup dumplings are basically pouches of goodness. There's a soup inside. People always wonder how the soup gets in there. It's really not that difficult. It comes down to a simple thing of gelatin, heating, and liquefying. Let's start with the one that I'm most confused by, which is the chicken xiaolong bao. I've never had a chicken soup dumpling. And look at these little boys. Ah! <laughs> Look at those old chicken dumplings! Oh, look at them. A little cool now, obviously. Normally they'd be like flaming hot, but I'm still gonna do the thing. Mmm, the broth is really good. As I pour my little concoction inside of him, now he's in there. Mm. Now here's a bizarre choice, chicken and crab. Sounds odd to me, but I'm gonna try it. It's another soup dumpling. It looks cutie cute cute. Oh shit, that's really good. Mmm, the crab flavor is so strong and delicious. Mmm, how's that sound? How's that sound, audience? All right, so we're done with the chickens, and I would say they give you a lot of bang for your buck. But we're gonna we're, we're gonna move over to the porks now. One of our most popular dumplings is the pork soup dumpling, which is basically the the core of of soup dumplings. They look really nice. Little pillows. Ooh, gifts. It, to me, it, it reminds me of the holidays. Like a bell ringing. Ding dong, 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 ding dong. Pork dumplings are one thing above all, and that is fatty. Uh, you can taste the fat. It's like a fatty little bath for your tongue. It's like your tongue's trip to the spa. We rarely treat our tongues, don't we girls? It's about time our tongues get to have a day off. I'm talking the works. A sauna, check. A massage, check. A little hot fat bath, check. And that's how we do the Zhao Long Boo. Mmm, it's so fatty. It's good. Let's, let's, let's see how the pork and crab do now. Pork, little pig by the sea. Oh, like a little, oh, I dropped him. Mm. Well, there's a lot of crab in there. Cra crabs are always having a good time. You've never seen a cartoon of a sad crab, I bet you that. You know why? Because they're always dancing. They got maracas on their hands. They're f***ing living life. I love a good crab moment. We should do more crab videos, you know what I'm saying? We did that crab, we ate all those crabs with the food babies, that was a blast. We need more crabs. Okay, guys, enough about the crabs. It's time for the most high-end dumpling that exists, which is of course the black truffle Xiaolong Bao. So we always advise people when they try our pork truffle dumpling, have the first bite without the sauce because you probably won't need it. I'm gonna smell it. Oh, wow, that is a heavy smell. Made me burp. <laughs> Kidding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the slurp and dip. Mmm. Oh wow. 
It's really good. Hold on now. Hold on now. That was really good. Yeah, that's really good. That was good. It was rich. It made me feel rich. I'm slugging that. I'm slugging on down. So that was a lot of fat and I feel good. I feel good. I had a great time, but now it's time for us to choose the best and the least best. We had some dumplings, we had some shoe mai, we had some Xiao Long Bao, we had some Kung Pao stop, we had some black vinegar, we had some hot spicy pepper, and the gyoza that was spicy. Okay, the best and the least best. We've cleaned the table so we can clean the slate. Ah, uh, let's start with the least best. There was nothing here that I didn't like, but there were things that I liked the least, and I think, um, hmm, hmm. What was my least favorite? The broccoli was just broccoli to me. I'm gonna go with the broccoli. The mushrooms and the broccoli, I would exclude from that because they were quite delicious. But you know, sometimes you do want something bland along with a lot of heavy, heavy stuff. But the best of the day, it's tough. You know, I ate all these dumplings and the dumplings were really good across the board, but I think I was actually most impressed with that caramel chicken and the soy braised pork. Those are my two best. And the reason that I'm choosing them above the dumplings is because this is a dumpling restaurant. They don't even have to make other stuff. And the fact that they made stuff that's that delicious, I don't know, it just brought me to a different place. The dumplings were all tremendous. I would happily get all of them again. Shout out to the fish dumpling. Delicious. You can swim in my mouth anytime. I had a great time. Dumpling Monster was good. I definitely recommend that you take this weekend to order from a local place on Grubhub. Maybe a dumpling spot. Maybe a Chinese food restaurant. Maybe just a local deli. Now's the time to support local restaurants. You can do so so easily from the comfort of your own home. And there are literally hundreds of thousands of options on Grubhub. See what's in your neighborhood. Order something delicious tonight. Until then, this has been Eat the Menu. Thanks to Nick Rupka. Thanks to Zach Kornfeld. Thanks to the staff, John and, Ma and Miles. John and Sam. I've had a lot of dumplings. And thanks to me. Until next time, this has been Eat the Menu. Thanks, Grub Up, for sponsoring this video. Bye! With the last kiss of the dumpling, the dumpling exploded back into a beautiful man. You weren't that much of a monster after all, were you?